So for the last couple of days, I've been showing you some of the tools that I'm currently developing in After Effects. And if you haven't seen the video, the first one, you should definitely check it out. You'll see it pop up in the upper right corner right now. So click on it. You can kind of see what I'm working on at the moment. And a lot of them have changed quite a bit actually, but you'll see the gist of what I'm working on. And uh, in the previous video, we talked about Smart Animator and even that within a day changed quite a bit. So, but today I'm gonna talk about this Smart Anchor and I'm gonna show you why I think it's a great tool. And the UI right now is kind of looking messy. Uh, if you have any ideas of how this should look, definitely let me know in the comments below. You can even send me an email at uh, sergey at ukramedia.com. Uh, everything I'm talking about here, I'll include in the description below. So let me show you what this one does. And today is just that, but I have way more to show. We'll do that later in, in, in a day or so. So let's talk about Smart Anchor. Now, on the surface, it does exactly what you would think it would do. So if you have layers selected and you want to put the anchor point to the upper left corner, you can do it like this instantly, no problem. Now, I also have these fe features for based on that has to do with like text animation. So if you have text animation, I'm going to use this smart animator. And by the way, if you want to see this in action, you can check out yesterday's video and video before that. I'll include in the upper left or which right corner, upper right corner. Click on it. You can see this in action. But essentially, it's a tool that animates text. You can select all of them and just animate it. And uh, we have a quick animation like this one. So we have one, two. Now, where smart anchor comes in very handy you can say, hey, do it on current time, so wherever my time indicator. So both of these will work, but these two are different when you use this feature, which I'll share here in a second. So you can say current time or current time indicator. This is like a current comp time, I guess. So any of them will work for this one. So you can say, uh, let's put anchor based on text animation right now, like maybe at the bottom right corner right here. Boom, I'll do it based on where the time indicator is at. So you will always adjust it. Uh, sometimes maybe you want to do it based on the in of each layer. If you have a bunch of different layers and you want to put it on where it is at the beginning of the text animation layer or whatever that is, then you would select all of them. And it doesn't matter where your time indicator is, as long as you select that and you say, hey, go to the bottom left corner, and then it will go to the bottom left corner of each in point right here. So as you can see, that one works fine and that one as well, but it's down there. So you get the gist, you can do the same thing for middle, midpoint. So sometimes when animation settles, maybe you want the, the anchor to be in the center based on in. So you can select a bunch of them and say, hey, put it in the center, and then I'll put it in the center. So the text can move, but it will always be in the center or wherever you know you put it, but it's gonna do that in the center of each uh, layer. So that's, that's very useful. The same thing for out. Again, you can say, let's do it here and now as you can see it's right there at the end of each layer so that's what these are for now i also have this feature right here and, and now and basically if you have this one checked and when you use these uh this time it's actually going to apply an expression so let me show you what i'm talking about so right now we have this animation and we can say hey let's do it based on current time in other words i want the current animated time right so if i say hey let's put it in the center let's do bottom left corner it will kind of put it in the bottom left but it's going to lock it in so animation will do its thing but it will always be in the bottom left corner and because it applies an expression in here you can change it but it this right here basically the expression portion of it is very useful for something like mogurts if you're rigging something and you want to be more fixed let's say you can go to the bottom right and now it's going to animate based on that or if you say top right corner watch this now the animation is going to be different it's going to be locked into that corner so that can can come in very handy and again the same features apply here you can say give me the anchor based on the in points right and then you can say top right corner so based on where it was in the in top right but it will be locked into that well well, it will not be blocked in. It will just give you based on endpoints. And uh, it can animate and stuff, but it's going to be locked in at the end. And if it changes, then it's not going to do anything to it. You can say the middle. Maybe you want to be in the center, and it's the same concept. It's going to be locked in in the center. 
but the animation will play fine. So again, these are the tools that are very helpful for Mogrits. If you've done one or two, you know what I'm talking about. So I definitely find this very useful. The same thing for out, you get the idea. But this one right here, it, it's it's gonna give you the current time, but it will lock it in. Like uh, if you use this one before and you say, hey, let's do top right corner. When it moves, like you can see, it's gonna always be top right corner, but this one, it will set it based on where it's at at current state. So let's give, let's select this and say, hey, let's do based on this one right here and center. It's gonna keep it in the center based on where this time indicator is at, but it will play it out just fine. It will not be locked into anything. So I'll have to show it to you like more practical examples, but I find this one very useful. Again, when I create mogurts, when I rig compositions, uh, this one is very helpful. And you still have this, so you can adjust, as you can see, like custom time, it sets it right here. You you know, you have all these, all these different options, but you can bring this in into, again, Premiere and you can alter the anchor points and stuff like that. So that is smart anchor. And I also built another one that was in the previous, this button right here, which if you have it selected and if you press delete, it will automatically delete the uh, pseudo effect and also anchor points is also the expression is wiped out. So this was, so for example, if I use this again and uh, let's, let's do current time, let's select these and there you go. So anchor point is applied. You can see here it is, but when you delete it, it gets rid of it, gets rid of the pseudo effect. So then you are, you know, it gives you a peace of mind if you created it and you, you want to get rid of it. This will definitely help you. So that's what I have so far. It's a smart anchor. I have many more tools to go and I'll be showing you all the other tools in you know days ahead. But as of right now, this is smart anchor. If you have any kind of feedback, if you want to see any kind of features added on into this script, definitely let me know in the comments below. You guys have been very, very helpful. But again, I always say this in every video. If you want to be a part of our mentoring group, you should definitely join at ukramedia.com slash community. It's totally free. It's a free Facebook group. And uh, we have some amazing people in that group, very talented heavyweights of this industry. And uh, they love helping people. So you should definitely join. And the links, everything I'm sharing here, you'll see the links below this video. But in the meantime, my name is Sergey Proknevsky. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you next time.